Imagine waking up in a serene space where every item you own has a purpose and a place. Your mind is clear and your heart is light. Now imagine facing the storms of life with an unwavering spirit, knowing that the only things you can control are your thoughts and actions. These seemingly utopian ideas are not out of reach, but are the heart of minimalism and stoicism, two philosophies that, though born centuries apart, converge on the path to a meaningful life. Welcome to Minimalism and Stoicism, Letting Go for a Meaningful Life. In this video, we will embark on a journey that peels back the layers of materialism and unravels the wisdom of ancient sages, guiding you towards a life that is not just lived, but cherished. Let's begin by addressing the burgeoning modern minimalist movement. Minimalism is not just an aesthetic, it's a lifestyle. It's about stripping away the unnecessary, the clutter that weighs down our spaces and minds, and focusing on what truly adds value to our lives. Originating in the mid-20th century, minimalism began as an art movement emphasizing simplicity and objectivity. It gradually seeped into various aspects of culture, including architecture, music, and lifestyle. Today, people are embracing minimalism to reclaim their time, space, and mental clarity. They are finding that by letting go of the physical clutter, they are able to foster relationships, pursue passions, and experience a richness that material possessions cannot offer. Now, let us traverse back in time to the bustling streets of ancient Athens, where Stoicism took root around the 3rd century BC. Like minimalism, Stoicism is also about simplifying, but it primarily focuses on internal simplicity. It is a philosophy that teaches the development of self-control, rationality and virtue as means to achieve a contented life. Stoicism helps individuals differentiate between what is in their control and what is not advocating for a focus on the former and a detachment from the latter. Through the wisdom of Stoic philosophers like Seneca, Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, we learn that contentment does not lie in external circumstances, but in our perceptions and reactions. The thread that binds minimalism and Stoicism is the art of letting go. Minimalism encourages us to let go of physical excesses, while Stoicism imparts the wisdom of letting go of emotional burdens and attachments. Both philosophies converge on the idea that in simplicity and detachment, there is freedom. Freedom to pursue a life that is meaningful, purposeful, and contented. In this video, we will take a deep dive into the nuances of both minimalism and Stoicism. We will explore their origins, core principles, and the benefits they bring to the tapestry of human life. We will also compare and contrast these philosophies and discuss practical ways to integrate them into our daily lives. Through case studies and testimonials, we will see how real individuals have transformed their lives by embracing these concepts. Finally, we will reflect on the lessons learned and encourage you to take steps towards adopting aspects of minimalism and stoicism that resonate with you. Prepare to challenge your notions of what it means to lead a fulfilling life as we embark on this enlightening journey through the realms of minimalism and stoicism. The road to a meaningful life is paved with intention, virtue and the courage to let go of the superfluous. Let us walk this path together. Moving forward, let's immerse ourselves in the first part of our discussion, understanding minimalism. The minimalist movement as we know it today was not born in isolation. It has its roots in various art forms, particularly visual arts and music, which emerged in the late 1950s and early 1960s. These art forms emphasized the use of simple elements and rejected the idea that art must be complex to be meaningful. As time progressed, this ideology transitioned into lifestyle. 
Minimalism as a lifestyle gained traction in the early 2000s as people began to question the consumerist culture that dominated society. They yearned for a simpler, more meaningful way of life, free from the trappings of material possessions. This was the genesis of the modern minimalist movement, a response to the excesses of consumerism and a search for contentment beyond material wealth. Now, let's delve into the core principles that form the bedrock of minimalism. First and foremost, minimalism is about simplification. It's about removing the excess, the unnecessary, and the distractions, and making room for what truly matters. This could mean decluttering your home, streamlining your commitments, or even pruning your social media. It's about creating a space, both physically and mentally, that reflects your values and priorities. The second core principle is intentionality. Minimalism isn't just about getting rid of stuff. It's about making conscious, deliberate decisions about what to keep in your life and what to let go of. It's about asking yourself, does this add value to my life? Does this align with my goals and values? Intentionality is about living with purpose and not on autopilot. It is about making choices that are reflective of the life you want to lead. The third pillar is a focus on quality over quantity. In a consumerist society, we are often led to believe that more is better. Minimalism challenges this notion. It's not about having fewer things for the sake of it, but about having the right things. It's about investing in quality items and relationships that stand the test of time rather than accumulating a plethora of things that serve no real purpose. With these principles in mind, let's explore the multifaceted benefits of adopting a minimalist lifestyle. First, minimalism can lead to mental clarity. By reducing clutter and distractions, we can create an environment that is conducive to focus and creativity. Our minds are not bogged down by the chaos around us allowing us to think more clearly and make better decisions. Another profound benefit is financial freedom. By being intentional about our purchases and focusing on quality over quantity, we can significantly reduce unnecessary spending. This can lead to savings, less debt, and the financial freedom to pursue passions and experiences that are truly meaningful. Moreover, minimalism has a positive impact on the environment. By consuming less, we reduce our carbon footprint. The production and disposal of goods are major contributors to environmental degradation. When we choose to live with less and make sustainable choices, we are not only improving our own lives, but also contributing to the well-being of our planet. However, like any movement, minimalism has its share of criticisms and misconceptions. One common criticism is that it is a privilege to be able to choose to live with less and that this lifestyle is not accessible to everyone. Moreover, some argue that minimalism can become yet another form of consumerism where individuals continuously replace old items with new, minimalist ones. Additionally, there is a misconception that minimalism means living in deprivation or that it's a one-size-fits-all solution. It is important to recognize that minimalism is a tool, not a rule. It's a means to create a life that reflects your values and priorities, and it can be adapted to suit individual circumstances and preferences. As we dissect these criticisms, it is essential to recognize that minimalism is not about reaching a destination, but rather it is an ongoing journey of self-discovery and intentionality. It is not a prescriptive set of rules, but a flexible philosophy that can be molded to fit various lifestyles and needs. Minimalism does not demand perfection. It encourages progress and consciousness in the choices we make. In the same vein, minimalism should not be viewed solely as a privilege. While it is true that certain aspects of minimalism may be easier to adopt for those in a more stable financial situation, the core principles of intentionality and focus on quality over quantity can be empowering for individuals across socioeconomic backgrounds. It can be about making the most of what one has and finding contentment in simplicity, regardless of the quantity of possessions. 
Moreover, to address the misconception of minimalism being an austere or deprived way of life, it is crucial to highlight that minimalism is not necessarily about owning a certain number of items. It is about finding what is meaningful and eliminating the excess that detracts from it. For some, this might mean a home with only the essentials, while for others, it might mean a carefully curated collection of items that bring joy and purpose. Minimalism is a rich and dynamic philosophy that goes beyond decluttering. It's about creating a life of intentionality, purpose and contentment. Through simplification, conscious decision-making and a focus on quality, minimalism paves the way for mental clarity, financial freedom and environmental sustainability. However, as with any philosophy, it is not without its criticisms and misconceptions. It is important to approach minimalism with an open mind, recognizing that it is a flexible and adaptable tool for cultivating a meaningful life. As we move forward in our video, we will delve into the ancient wisdom of Stoic philosophy and discover how, like minimalism, it too guides us in letting go of the excess, not just in our physical surroundings, but in our internal landscapes as well. We will explore the synergies and distinctions between these two philosophies and provide practical insights on integrating them into our lives for a more fulfilling existence. Stay tuned as we journey through time and thought, unraveling the threads of minimalism and stoicism and weaving them into a tapestry of purpose, contentment and well-being. This is an invitation not just to declutter or to be stoic in the face of adversity, but to awaken to a life that is lived with consciousness, integrity, and depth. May this journey inspire you to reflect, to question, and to embrace the boundless possibilities that lie in the simplicity and wisdom of minimalism and stoicism. Now, as we transition from the contemporary halls of minimalism, let us travel back in time to the ancient world where Stoicism was born. Stoicism, a school of Hellenistic philosophy, emerged in Athens in the early 3rd century BC. The founder of Stoicism, Zeno of Citium, taught from the Stoa Poikile, a painted porch, from which the philosophy derives its name. Stoicism then gained popularity in ancient Rome and became one of the most influential philosophies of the Roman Empire. Three notable figures dominate the landscape of Stoic philosophy, Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius. Seneca, a Roman statesman and playwright, is known for his essays and letters that explore Stoic ideas in the context of everyday life. Epictetus, born a slave in what is modern-day Turkey, became a prominent Stoic teacher. His Discourses and Enchiridion are foundational texts that offer practical advice on living a virtuous life. Lastly, Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor, is often called the Philosopher King. His meditations, written during his military campaigns, reflect his innermost thoughts on virtue, duty and the nature of human existence. As we delve into the core principles of Stoicism, the first that demands our attention is rationality. Stoics believed that reason and logic are the driving forces of the universe. They emphasized using rationality to interpret and navigate the world around us. This rational approach was seen as the path to virtue and tranquility, as it enabled individuals to make decisions aligned with nature and moral goodness. The second principle is control over reactions. Stoics make a clear distinction between what is within our control and what is not. While we cannot control external events, we have absolute control over our thoughts, perceptions, and reactions. By focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we can't, we can maintain equanimity in the face of adversity. The third pillar is the pursuit of virtue as the highest good. Virtue for Stoics is not just moral goodness, but encompasses wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. They believe that a virtuous life in harmony with reason and nature is the key to happiness and contentment. So how can this ancient philosophy help us in coping with adversity? 
When faced with challenges, Stoicism teaches us to detach from the turmoil and view the situation objectively through the lens of reason. By doing so, we can prevent negative emotions from clouding our judgment and take actions that are in line with our values. It encourages us to see adversities not as misfortunes, but as opportunities for growth and reflection. Now let's fast forward to the present day. It might be an ancient philosophy, but its teachings are timeless and have found a resurgence in modern times. In a world that is increasingly volatile and uncertain, Stoicism provides a compass to navigate through the storms. Its emphasis on rationality and control over reactions is reflected in cognitive behavioral therapy, a widely used psychological treatment. Moreover, in the corporate world, leaders are using Stoic principles to make level-headed decisions and foster resilience within organizations. In personal development, this philosophy offers tools for individuals to build mental fortitude and lead lives of purpose and integrity. It is being integrated into daily routines through journaling, mindfulness, and reflective practices that encourage living in accordance with one's values. In summary, Stoicism, born in ancient Greece and Rome, is a philosophy rich with wisdom. With its core principles of rationality, control over reactions, and pursuit of virtue, it empowers individuals to lead lives of contentment and moral integrity. From the teachings of Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, to its modern applications in psychology and leadership, it can serve as a guiding light in an ever-changing world. As we progress in our exploration, it is important to recognize that Stoicism is not just a set of philosophical musings, it is a call to action. It is a call to cultivate a rational and virtuous mind, to discern what is within our control and to let go of what is not, and to embrace challenges as opportunities for personal growth. It is a call to live not just with intention, but with wisdom. Now, having delved into the depths of Stoic philosophy, we find ourselves at an intriguing crossroads where minimalism and Stoicism intersect. As we shall soon explore, both philosophies, though born in different eras and under different circumstances, converge on the idea of letting go. Letting go of the excess, be it material possessions or mental constructs, and seeking a life that is purposeful, content, and in harmony with our values. In the forthcoming segments, we will compare and contrast these two philosophies, uncover their synergies, and provide insights on how they can be integrated into our lives. We will explore how the simplicity and intentionality of minimalism can be enriched with the wisdom and virtue of Stoicism. Together, these philosophies can form a powerful framework for a life that is not just decluttered or resilient, but profoundly meaningful. As we embark on this exploration, let us do so with an open mind and a curious heart. Let us be willing to question our assumptions, to challenge our patterns, and to embrace new paradigms. Through minimalism and stoicism, we are invited to embark on a journey that is as much about letting go as it is about discovering what is truly worth holding on to. This journey is not just philosophical, it is deeply personal. It is an invitation to each one of us to reflect on the lives we are leading, on the choices we are making, and on the values we are upholding. It is an invitation to let go of the excess and to embrace the essence, to let go of the noise and to embrace the wisdom, to let go of the ephemeral and to embrace the eternal. Let us walk this path together, with minimalism and stoicism as our guides, towards a life that is not just lived but cherished, not just endured but celebrated, not just fleeting but meaningful. As we tread the path of exploration, we arrive at a juncture where minimalism and stoicism stand side by side. These two powerful philosophies, though separated by centuries, share common ground as well as distinct differences. Let us now carefully examine the tapestry they weave together. Let's begin with the similarities. First and foremost, both emphasize the pursuit of simplicity and focus. 
Minimalism encourages us to simplify our lives by reducing material possessions and decluttering our physical spaces. Stoicism, on the other hand, encourages us to simplify our internal landscapes by practicing rationality and focusing on what is within our control. Both philosophies guide us to strip away the unnecessary so that we can concentrate on what truly matters. The second similarity is the reduction of excess. In minimalism, this manifests as letting go of material possessions that do not add value to our lives. In Stoicism, it is about letting go of excessive desires, emotions and attachments that cloud our judgment and hinder our pursuit of virtue. Both philosophies recognize that excess, be it in the form of physical clutter or mental turmoil, can be a barrier to living a fulfilled life. The third similarity lies in the emphasis on internal contentment. Minimalism teaches us that happiness does not come from the accumulation of possessions, but from a life lived with intention and purpose. Similarly, Stoicism posits that contentment comes from living in accordance with nature and reason, and not from external accolades or wealth. Now, let's turn our gaze to the differences. The first difference lies in their historical and cultural context. Minimalism emerged as a modern movement primarily in the Western world as a response to consumerism and the overabundance of material possessions. Stoicism, however, has its roots in ancient Greece and Rome and was a philosophical response to the human quest for happiness and virtue in a tumultuous world. The second difference is in scope and application. Minimalism predominantly deals with the physical aspects of our lives encouraging us to declutter our spaces and be mindful of our consumption. Stoicism, in contrast, is more comprehensive in scope, dealing with not only our external circumstances but also our internal thoughts, emotions and character. The third difference lies in the underlying motivations. Minimalism is often driven by a desire to create more space, freedom and focus in one's life. It's about curating one's environment. Stoicism, however, is deeply rooted in moral philosophy. It's about curating one's character and soul. The Stoic is motivated by a sense of duty to live virtuously, in harmony with reason and nature. As we reflect on these similarities and differences, we can see that the philosophies are two sides of the same coin. They both guide us towards a life of simplicity, focus and contentment but they do so from different angles and with different tools. Imagine, if you will, minimalism as the vessel that helps us navigate the physical realm, decluttering our spaces and focusing our actions. Stoicism, then, is the compass that guides us through the internal seas, helping us navigate our thoughts, emotions and character with wisdom and virtue. Together, they form a powerful synergy. By integrating the simplicity and intentionality of minimalism with the wisdom and virtue of Stoicism, we can create a life that is not only uncluttered and focused, but also deeply meaningful and aligned with our highest values. Let's not limit ourselves to choosing one philosophy over the other. Instead, let us embrace them both as complementary guides. Let the vessel of minimalism carry us forward while the compass of Stoicism keeps us on a course that is true to who we are and what we value. Before we move on, let us pause for a moment and reflect. Reflect on the spaces we inhabit and the possessions we surround ourselves with. Are they serving a purpose or are they mere clutter? Now turn the gaze inward. Reflect on our thoughts, emotions and actions. Are they aligned with our values? or are they in disarray? As we progress, let's carry with us the essence of minimalism's call to simplicity and stoicism's beckon for wisdom. Let's be architects, meticulously designing a life that resonates with our soul's yearning for meaning and contentment. The two philosophies, while distinct in their origins, scopes and motivations, converge in guiding us towards a life that is stripped of excess and rich in essence. Minimalism invites us to clear our external world and Stoicism challenges us to master our internal domain. In their confluence, we find a path that leads not just to simplicity or wisdom, 
but to a life that is profoundly meaningful. As we stand at the crossroads of these two philosophies, we have the power and the tools to shape our journey, a journey that is as unique as each one of us, but unified in its pursuit of a more meaningful and contented life. This journey is not always easy. It demands reflection, action, and sometimes the courage to let go. But as we walk this path with each step, we create a tapestry that is woven with the threads of simplicity, wisdom, purpose, and contentment. Let's carry forward the torches of minimalism and stoicism as we step into the realms of practical application. With open hearts and curious minds, let us explore, integrate, and embody the teachings of these time-honored philosophies. As we tread forward, let us do so with gratitude. Gratitude for the wisdom that has been passed down through the ages and for the opportunity to weave it into the fabric of our lives. In the next segment, we will delve into the practical application of these philosophies. We will explore strategies, tips and reflections to help you integrate minimalism and stoicism into your life, crafting a tapestry that is not only simple and wise, but deeply, profoundly meaningful. As we navigate through the rich tapestry woven by minimalism and stoicism, we now arrive at a crucial point in our journey, the integration of these philosophies into our daily lives. This is where the rubber meets the road, where theory transforms into practice and where we take our first steps towards a more meaningful life. Let's start with the practical steps to apply minimalist principles in daily life. First, declutter your physical space. Take an inventory of your possessions and ask yourself if they serve a purpose or bring joy. If not, it might be time to let them go. This process can be gradual. Start with one room or even one drawer and build from there. Second, be intentional with your consumption. Before making a purchase, consider whether the item is necessary and aligns with your values. This mindset can be extended to other aspects of life, like commitments and relationships. Lastly, focus on quality over quantity. Invest in experiences and relationships that enrich your life. This doesn't necessarily mean monetary investment, but rather an investment of time and attention. Now, let's explore how to incorporate Stoic philosophy in decision-making and reactions. First, practice the dichotomy of control. Recognize what you can and cannot control. You can't control external events, but you can control your reactions and decisions. When faced with a challenge, ask yourself what aspects are within your control and focus on those. Second, reflect on your values and let them guide your decisions. Stoicism teaches us that virtue is the highest good. Make decisions that are aligned with honesty, integrity and compassion. Finally, practice mindfulness and self-reflection. Regularly take time to reflect on your actions, decisions, and emotions. This practice helps in cultivating rationality and emotional resilience. Moving forward, how can we balance minimalism and stoicism for personal development? The key is integration. Use minimalism to create an environment that supports your values and goals and use stoicism to cultivate a mindset that is resilient, focused and virtuous. It's also important to recognize that minimalism and stoicism are not all or nothing approaches. They are flexible and can be adapted to your personal circumstances and goals. Take small steps, be consistent and be open to adjusting your approach as you grow and learn. To bring this into perspective, let's look at real-life examples of people who have integrated both philosophies. Consider the story of Joshua Fields Milburn and Ryan Nicodemus, collectively known as the Minimalists. They both left their corporate careers, which were abundant in material possessions but lacking in meaning. Through minimalism, they simplified their lives. Alongside, they integrated stoic principles by focusing on what was within their control and aligning their lives with their values. Another example is Tim Ferriss, an entrepreneur and author 
who has openly talked about how Stoicism has influenced his life and decision-making. He has also embraced minimalism, focusing on essential activities and relationships that align with his values. Integrating minimalism and Stoicism can be a powerful catalyst for personal development and a more meaningful life. By simplifying our external environment through minimalism and cultivating a resilient and virtuous mindset through Stoicism, we can create a life that is not just clutter-free, but also rich in purpose and contentment. As we conclude this section, I invite you to take a step back and reflect on what resonates with you from both minimalism and Stoicism. Consider how you can integrate these principles into your own life and how they can serve as tools for personal growth and fulfillment. Let's continue on this path together embracing the wisdom and practicality that minimalism and stoicism have to offer. Let's explore the numerous ways these philosophies can enrich our lives, help us in letting go of the excess, and cultivate a deep sense of meaning. But before we proceed, let's acknowledge that while the journey towards integrating minimalism and stoicism can be incredibly rewarding, it is not without its challenges. It requires diligence, commitment, and sometimes a willingness to step out of our comfort zones. It is also vital to recognize that this integration is not a destination, but rather an ongoing journey of growth and evolution. Our understanding and application of these philosophies will change and evolve as we do. There's no one-size-fits-all, and there's no end point where we have achieved minimalism or stoicism. They are companions in our lifelong journey towards self-actualization. As we walk this path, let's also remember to be compassionate and patient with ourselves. Changes, especially those that affect our lifestyles and thought processes, take time. There will be days when we stumble and that's okay. What's important is that we pick ourselves up, learn from these experiences, and continue forward with renewed vigor and clarity. In this journey, we are not alone. There are countless individuals who have embarked on similar paths integrating minimalism and stoicism in their quest for a more meaningful life. We can learn from their experiences, draw inspiration from their stories, and find solace in the knowledge that our pursuit of meaning and contentment is a shared human endeavor. As we tread further in our exploration, let us cross continents and time to delve into the rich tapestry of Eastern philosophies and religions. The East, with its millennia of history and thought, has much to offer when it comes to the pursuit of a meaningful life. Interestingly, minimalism and Stoicism find kinship in several Eastern concepts. Let's discover these beautiful parallels and see how they can enrich our lives. Buddhism one of the central tenets of Buddhism is the middle way. This concept advocates for a path of moderation and avoidance of extremes, which is remarkably akin to minimalism. The middle way suggests that by not indulging in either excess or austerity, we can achieve a balanced life, conducive to spiritual enrichment. Buddhism also presents the Four Noble Truths and the Noble Eightfold Path, which serve as guides to living free from attachments a principle that resonates with Stoic ideals. The Four Noble Truths diagnose human suffering and its causes, while the Noble Eightfold Path offers a prescription through right conduct, right motive, and right mindfulness. Speaking of mindfulness, Buddhism has an age-old tradition of mindfulness and meditation. These practices align with Stoic mindfulness in helping individuals to focus on the present moment and what truly matters. Meditation cultivates awareness and equanimity, helping us let go of transient emotions and focus on our inner selves. Taoism Moving on to Taoism, let's discuss the Tao and Wu Wei. Taoism emphasizes simplicity, naturalness and non-action principles that resemble minimalism. Wu Wei means non-action or non-doing. It doesn't mean not acting but rather taking action that is in harmony with the natural flow of things. It is about effortless action and simplicity in living. In Taoism, there is also the concept of yin and yang, 
which represents balance and harmony in nature. This balance is crucial in Taoist thought and closely relates to minimalism and stoicism, where balance in one's life and emotions is sought. Another aspect is living in accordance with nature. Taoism encourages harmonious living with the Tao, which is the fundamental principle that is the source of everything. This notion closely resembles the Stoic idea of living in accordance with nature to achieve virtue and contentment. Hinduism Hinduism, another ancient Eastern religion, speaks volumes about Dharma and simplicity. Dharma, often referred to as moral duty, is a path where simplicity and focus are vital. Following one's Dharma means living a life with purpose and ethical standards, which can be compared to the minimalist focus on intentionality. Hindu philosophy also emphasizes non-attachment. This concept, similar to Stoic detachment, encourages individuals not to be bound by material possessions or transient emotions. Moreover, yoga and meditation in Hinduism are not just physical exercises, but practices aimed at self-realization and aligning oneself with inner virtues. This is very akin to stoic self-reflection and aligning oneself with rationality and virtue. Lastly, let us consider Confucianism, which has a profound influence on Eastern thought. The doctrine of the mean in Confucianism advocates for balance and moderation, reflecting minimalist principles. Confucianism also emphasizes Ren, which means humaneness, and Li, which refers to ritual and proper conduct. These concepts focus on moral virtues and proper conduct in society, resonating with Stoic virtues. Moreover, Confucianism emphasizes social harmony and the importance of relationships. This reflects the Stoic emphasis on community engagement and understanding that we are part of a larger whole. In conclusion, minimalism and Stoicism find deep connections with Eastern philosophies and religions. The Eastern concepts of balance, moderation, mindfulness and non-attachment are echoed in the principles of minimalism and Stoicism. Both Eastern and Western philosophies guide us in shedding excesses and focusing on what's essential for a harmonious life. What makes Eastern thought particularly enriching is its focus on inner development, social harmony, and the interconnectedness of all things. These teachings can be a bountiful source of wisdom for anyone seeking to lead a more meaningful and contented life. As we have seen, Minimalism asks of us to declutter our lives of material excess and focus on quality over quantity. Stoicism teaches us to be rational, control our reactions, and see virtue as the highest good. Eastern philosophies, with their diverse array of teachings, offer a treasure trove of wisdom on how to lead a life in harmony with nature and our inner selves. As you go about your daily life, Consider how you might integrate these philosophies. Perhaps adopt mindfulness practices from Buddhism, the effortless action of Taoism's Wu Wei, the moral compass of Hindu Dharma, or the social virtues of Confucianism. Combine these with the clarity of minimalism and the rationality of Stoicism. Let us not see these philosophies as separate, but as complementary colors on a palette with which we can paint our lives. By drawing inspiration from both East and West, we can build a bridge of understanding and wisdom that spans cultures and ages. Look for real-life examples, and you'll find many. There are countless unsung heroes who lead lives of simplicity, virtue, and balance. They are content and fulfilled, not because they have much, but because they know what truly matters. This integration is not a destination, but a journey. As Lao Tzu said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, let this knowledge be that step for you. Embrace the teachings of the East and the West. Simplify, rationalize, harmonize, and find your middle way. This path may not always be easy. It may require sacrifices and tough choices. But in the end, it offers something priceless. A life lived with purpose, contentment, and a deep connection to the world around us.
As we draw the curtains on this enriching journey through minimalism, stoicism, and Eastern philosophies, let's take a moment to reflect upon the tapestry of wisdom we've unfurled. We began with an introduction to minimalism, understanding its origins and core principles of simplification, intentionality, and focus on quality over quantity. We discovered the myriad benefits of adopting a minimalist lifestyle, including mental clarity, financial freedom, and environmental sustainability, and addressed some criticisms and misconceptions. Turning the pages back in history, we delved into the profound depths of Stoic philosophy. Originating in ancient Greece and Rome, Stoicism taught us the importance of rationality, control over reactions, and virtue as the highest good through the words of philosophers like Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, and Epictetus. We explored how Stoicism offers tools for coping with adversity and continues to find relevance in modern times. Our journey then took us to the crossroads where minimalism and Stoicism meet. We observed their striking similarities in the pursuit of simplicity, focus, and internal contentment, as well as their differences in historical context, scope, and underlying motivations. We pondered on how these philosophies, though different, converge in guiding us towards a more meaningful existence by reducing excesses in our lives. Further, we delved into the practical integration of minimalism and stoicism in our daily lives. We discussed how we can apply minimalist principles to declutter not just our physical spaces, but also our minds. We also explored how to incorporate Stoic philosophy in our decision-making processes and reactions to events around us. We witnessed real-life examples of individuals who have harmoniously blended both philosophies for personal development. Our exploration didn't end there. It broadened as we navigated the seas to eastern shores. We dipped our toes into the richness of Eastern philosophies and religions and their parallels with minimalism and Stoicism. From the middle way in Buddhism, Tao and Wu Wei in Taoism, Dharma in Hinduism, to the doctrine of the mean in Confucianism, we discovered a plethora of teachings that resonate with minimalism and Stoicism. I encourage you to not let this be the end, but rather the beginning of your own exploration. Take the wisdom from minimalism and stoicism and see how you can weave them into the fabric of your daily life. Experiment with what resonates with you and don't be afraid to mold them according to your personal context. The pursuit of a meaningful and contented life is a path that is as diverse as humanity itself. There isn't a one-size-fits-all answer. It's a continuous process of learning unlearning and relearning. It's a garden where seeds of wisdom from different philosophies can be sown and with nurturing can flourish into a life that is rich, fulfilling and aligned with one's values and virtues. It's imperative to understand that the material possessions we accumulate, the accolades we garner or the societal standards we often measure ourselves against are transient. What endures is the contentment and fulfillment that come from leading a life grounded in simplicity, virtue, and purpose. In conclusion, let's carry the torch of wisdom that has been passed down through millennia. Let's be torchbearers who illuminate our paths and those of others. Be explorers, be learners, but above all, be seekers of meaning. As you move forward, may your life be like a well-written book one that is not judged by the thickness of its volume, but by the richness of its content. May minimalism, stoicism, and the wisdom of Eastern philosophies be the ink that inscribes each page of your life with purpose, contentment, and fulfillment. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. Let's keep learning, keep evolving, and most importantly, keep sailing in this ocean of existence with wisdom as our compass and virtue as our anchor. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. May your path be illuminated with clarity and may your heart be your guide in the pursuit of a meaningful and contented life.